In this video, I hope to demonstrate how you can take a picture uh, and make multi-layers out of it and give the impression of being able to paint it with different hands in the Sparkle Video Scribe system. What you firstly need to do is take your picture and using Photoshop, Photoshop Elements or something like GIMP, remove all the colours, leaving only the colours for the stage you want it to be painted. In the case of my example, I had four pictures. One that was a complete drawing with all the colours, one that was only with the beak, and one with the beak and the red neck piece, and then one with the beak, red neck piece, and the brow area, and then the brown area. This would give the impression that it is being built by these sections. In principle, you will see the way I've done it, I've created it so that it goes up in stages and each stage adds a new colour. Then using a program like Inkscape, I firstly imported the full picture. I added a layer, and then I drew my lines around the picture to simulate, simulate the sketch. I've already done this, so you can see the outcome. Uh, I have a previous video that shows you how you get those strokes. I then made the base layer transparent so that you can only see the lines and I save this particular SVG file. If we put this in Sparkle now, you will see that I'm simply giving the impression I'm drawing the outline of my image. I go back to Inkscape and I now create a new Inkscape picture. I import the next layer that I want to be coloured in first. I create a layer over the top of the colour and then using Inkscape Stroke I size the stroke to the size of the pen that I want to use for that layer and then I colour in the entire area. I don't have to worry about going outside the lines because at this stage all of those lines are clear, all of the other sides are clear and when you over video scribe and just paint this particular section that's all you will see. Using Inkscape, I do the same process all over again for each additional picture, i.e. I just simply import it, add a layer, and then colour in the section that I want to colour in. You never have to worry about going outside the lines, because when we get into Sparkle, you will note that as those are already in and being built, you will never see like it was going outside the lines again. What you note here now is that your very last layer that you're colouring in will be the entire picture. Okay, so you colour in only the section that has not been coloured in at this point, or the strokes, add the strokes to that section, and just leave the rest of the picture as is. You save that, and we've now got all of our layers ready for import into Sparkle. So basically, you end up with four Inkscape pictures, each one building the same picture until it's finished. When you open Sparkle, you place your first image on the palette. Do not move it or adjust the size of that picture in any way. Open again and import your second picture to go directly on top. As you have not moved or resized, and as all of these pictures are exactly the same size, it should end up directly on top of the previous layer. If it does not, do not try to adjust the size with your mouse at this point, or even move the picture with your mouse. Use the arrows on your keyboard. You will see that it finally adjusts or finally moves your picture and you can align it with the bottom layer as you go. Now that you have done all of that, it's simply a matter of going back to each sketch and changing the hand to the hand that you want for that section. Okay, and literally as, as you go through, uh, if you play this whole picture, you will see a different hand paint every section and it will look as though that each piece is being painted separately. I hope this has all made sense. Thank you for viewing this video and if you really appreciate this and some of the work that's coming, please subscribe to my channel.